36 beds, 36 dents, and very, I mean, they were dying. Most everybody was dying. This woman normally teaches college students, but when she saw how bad things were getting in New York City, she said that she just felt called to do more to help. So she spent three weeks at a hospital there at the worst of the times. Now she sat down with our Dave Faraday to talk about the challenges that she and other healthcare workers faced over the past month. Well, for the last three years, Karen Bell has worked as a nursing instructor here at Caldwell Community and Technical Institute. For 21 days, though, she and others did their best to save lives at a hospital in New York. When Karen Bell arrived to her home near Granite Falls Tuesday, she was greeted by signs and loved ones after being gone for more than a month. It was here she made the difficult decision to go to New York to help those with COVID-19. Weird, but I sat down on the couch and I put my head back and I said, God, I feel like you want me to go. I do feel like that you want me to be there. Bell, who has training as a respiratory therapist, says five minutes later, she got a phone call from a recruiter who saw her message on Facebook. When she arrived at the hospital in Queens, she ended up working 20 of the next 21 days doing 12 hour shifts. It's 36 beds, 36 dents, and very, I mean, they were dying. Most everybody was dying. Bell says after that first shift, she remembers riding a bus to the hotel with other healthcare workers who couldn't believe what they had just seen. I mean, I get teary, but the next morning we got on the bus, it was complete silence. Nobody said a word. She remembers a man in his 30s who survived after being on a vent. She helped him contact his family. A family on the other end of the phone was crying. He was crying. And um, then when he left, he was like, I'm going to be OK. She'll never forget that or her fellow health care workers, who she now calls family. She hopes that North Carolina never experiences the challenges New York faced. I just say don't take your chances because I, I think if any one person would go up there, they would be scared to death and probably wouldn't come out of their house for a year. And when Bell came back here to North Carolina, she spent 14 days in quarantine before coming home to her family. Reporting in Hudson, I'm Dave Faraday.